Welcome to Fortify Software Security Center version 17.20. Much has changed in this release, especially initial product configuration. So we wanted to give you a brief demonstration of basic configuration to get you up and running. Previously, you had to work outside of the application using the configuration wizard to specify initial settings. Now you can use the new setup wizard, which is available after you first deploy your SSC war file, after you upgrade the server, or after you place Software Security Center in maintenance mode. So let's take a quick run through of the new setup wizard. Begin by reading the content on the start page. If you haven't yet read the release notes for this release, you can click here to open the file in a new browser window. If this isn't your first Software Security Center installation, and you've just upgraded your server, you can click this link to import the configuration settings from your existing WAR file. Click Next. In the left panel of the configuration page, use the Upload button to locate and select a Fortify license file. The right panel displays the default path of the directory where your configuration files will reside. You can find instructions on how to save your configuration property files to a different directory in the Fortify Software Security Center user guide. Read the warning note about sensitive information in the configuration file directory, and then select the checkbox to indicate that you've read and understood the warning. Click Next. In the Fortify Software Security Center URL box, type the URL for your Fortify SSC server. In the center panel, select the Enable HTTP Host Header Validation checkbox. This ensures that the HTTP host header value matches the value configured in the Software Security Center URL. Both the host and port must match. This affects both browsers and direct REST API access. If validation is turned off, any HTTP host header can access Software Security Center. To enable global searches in Fortify Software Security Center, select the Enable Global Search checkbox, and then in the box below, type the directory path for search index files. Fortify Software Security Center indexes data to this location. Read the warning in the right panel, and then select the checkbox to indicate that you've read and understood the warning. Click Next. In the left panel of the database setup step, from the database type list, select the database type you're using with Fortify Software Security Center. In the database username box, type the username for your SSC database. Make sure that the database user credentials you provide for this field and for the password field are for a user account that has the privileges required to execute migration scripts. In the JDBC URL box, Type the URL for the SSC Center database. In the Maximum Idle Connections box, you can set the number of idle connections that can remain in the pool. In the Maximum Active Connections box, you can set the maximum number of active connections that can remain in the pool. In the Maximum Wait Time box, you can set the maximum number of milliseconds for the pool to wait for a connection when no connections are available before the system throws an exception. You can extend the wait indefinitely by setting the value to zero. To test your settings, click Test Connection. At this point, you would ordinarily download the Create Table script and run it on your database. Because I ran this script earlier from MySQL Workbench, we'll continue on to the database seeding step. Click Next. In the left panel of the database seeding step, Use the Browse button to locate and select your Process Seed Bundle. Once you've located the Seed Bundle, click Seed Database. Database seeding can take some time to complete. After the Process Seed Bundle is successfully processed, click Browse again to locate and select a Report Seed Bundle. After you select the Report Seed Bundle, click Seed Database again. Here again, processing may take some time to complete. After you've seeded the database, click Next.
On the final step, click Finish. So that's it for the initial SSC configuration. From here, you can use the link to go to the user guide, which has information about additional settings you'll want to configure. You can now close the browser window, restart the server, log in, and start using Software Security Center. We hope this has been a helpful introduction.